Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'll be talking about the Divi Events calendar and making a tabbed event schedule view. So kind of like a conference where you have day one, two, and three, and people have asked me how to do this where you can show events for each day. And so basically we're going to use a tabs module. And so this is for the users of our Divi Events calendar plugin, but if you're not using that, there's a lot of things to learn, so feel free to follow along anyhow. All right, so like I said, this is for the events calendar and it's kind of assuming that you already have, you know, the events calendar, Divi events calendar installed and set up, but if not, you know, just go ahead and do that. Um, I'll talk about the, a couple of steps here, but I'm going to go pretty fast just because uh, I'm going to expect that you kind of already know some of this stuff, so it's more of like, how to compile it all together. So first of all, the way we're doing it, the way I'm doing it, the way I would probably recommend is to make a different event category for each day of your event. By the way, let me show you the final result. This is the final result. So you have day, Friday, day one, Friday, or Saturday, day two, Sunday, day three. And so each day has a different um, event in it. That's what we're doing. So what we're doing then is making a category for each day. So that's all I did here. Go ahead and do that step. Um, I don't think I need to show you that. Just very basic adding an event category. And then the next step would be to go into your events. And if you don't have the events, add the events. But, but the key thing there you can see from the screenshot is to select the day that you want that event to appear. So um, I could go into the back end here quick, just show you what I did. I made I think 12 events, yeah. And so basically I just called them like session one, two, and three. And you can actually see, I just set a random day. Uh, it doesn't show the time here on the front end, but you can see what the times were, like um, eight to 9.30, 10 to 12, 1.30 to 3, 3.30. So I kind of made them that they, you know, it was as if it, you could go to like one room to the other. I'm using rooms for the venue. I named the venue room just to make it look real, I guess. Um, so anyway, step number three, after you kind of have the categories and events set up, is just to build your events feed module. Um, I, I'll i open the builder here and just show you my settings that I use. This was the you know final result of what I set up. So there's four events in the module. So what, you'll need to adjust a couple of things, but the main thing would be set the events type um, to like category, there's all these options here. So events by category, um, that would certainly be the first thing and then choose um, day one and then we'll duplicate this, but day one. And then other than that, like this is totally up to you. What kind of events you want in here? What elements? I turned off the featured image. I put the layout to list, list type image uh, details but then the image is off anyway. So it's just details. Um, and then in the details, I'm still showing the date and the time and I'm using the venue, like I said, so venue is completely optional, but like I decided to use it as a room. So I made three different venues, called them 113, 120 and 207, just to like indicate room numbers, you know? So that's kind of a way you can use this plugin for a little workarounds like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, pretty much just, I turned off the button, I turned off all the categories and, and tags and all that other stuff and just left with the date, time, and room. Um, so that's, yeah, you can do that. Turned off the call out box. Uh, the next step is to duplicate it three times. So I already did it. I don't want to just bore you with the simple stuff, but you can see I have one here and then I have another one here and look, the only difference is this one's on day two, and you notice five, six, seven, eight. And then this one is selected as day three, and you can see that it's literally showing different events. After you duplicate them three times, go to each one and save it to the library. That's because we're putting them into tabs. So in Divi, anytime you put things into tabs, you have to first save it to the Divi library. Um, that will be, um, oh, my image, so that'll be step number five and then six. So we're duplicating them, we're selecting the category, 
uh, and then saving to the Divi library. Here I just added it like events feed day one, just a name, whatever you wanna name it. Um, and that's totally up to you. And then you'll get to step seven and that's literally the design of the tabs. Now I am using the Divi tabs maker, that's our plugin. If you don't have that, that's fine. You can use um, the default tabs in Divi. You just don't really have design settings for it. And if you do that, you'll need to use either like our dynamic helper or Divi assistant or another free plugin. Somehow you need to get a short code from the Divi library and then put that in the tabs. That's outside the scope of this tutorial, but um, we covered it different places on the blog. Um, basically using a Divi library shortcode plugin. Divi Assistant does have that if you're using that. If you don't have that, Divi Dynamic Helper does the same thing as the Divi Tabs Maker. It allows you to literally click this button inside the tab and then choose the items from the Divi library. So that's really cool. So now I went up here and added this Divi Tabs Maker. So inside each one, go down here to content and I literally selected it right here. So you, you use dynamic content and then I want events feed day one. So that module here in tab one is literally this module. The module that we have in the second tab is this module and so forth, you know, and you can do that. You can change these up, whatever. I'm just showing you it's, it's, pretty simple like once you you know once you realize how it's done that's it there's the result um yeah you can obviously style these tabs however you want like there are tons and tons of settings um to, to, to style the tabs i put a border around here i put this spacing here i added i centered these i put some spacing between here and here and i rounded the corners and made them blue and yeah there's so much more you can do that's it, that's how you put anything inside tabs, but specifically, I wanted to address, you know, people were asking like how to make like a conference view or a schedule view with the Divi events calendar. And this is what I try to had tried to tell people in an email, like write all these out. And I'm like, I need to make a tutorial for this, for their benefit, but also for just learning in general. Cause you could put anything, you could put a gallery in here, you could put a blog module in here. You could put like blurbs. Like you could do whatever you want. Like these, these, this could be a row of something. You could tab through it. Yeah, it's pretty much up to you. So hopefully you learned something, even if this didn't apply specifically. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can subscribe and follow along. We do a tutorial for Divi every single week. And so that's what you get when you subscribe here. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.